Today I'm going to talk to you about the dual valve that can be purchased separately for the grandfather conical fermenter and as you can see it just sits at the bottom there. Uh, I'll start by just explaining valves and fermenters. So uh, the majority of fermenters on the market have a valve at the bottom and this is your yeast dump valve and then somewhere in the upper portion of the conical, the cone, there's a sample valve or a racking valve and that is for taking uh, beer samples or transferring the beer out and as I said the bottom one is for getting rid of the dead yeast. So the true innovation with the grandfather conical fermented dual valve is that it takes both those valves and combines it into one single unit, so one single valve and uh, that helps because you don't have uh, two holes in the fermenter that you need to clean, you don't have two valves you need to remove separately, it's the one unit. Uh, take it off as one unit, it can then be disassembled and cleaned properly um, and it's just a bit easier to manage. So in this fermenter I've got a beer that has been fermenting for about three days now and it is time for me to do my first uh, yeast dump so I should have quite a good portion of dead yeast sitting at the bottom of the cone now so we advise to do a yeast dump every two or three days just so it doesn't get clogged up in there and while the yeast is still uh, fluid enough to get rid of it. So to dump the yeast, uh, on the side of the valve there's a lever, so pushing down on this lever will open a plug and the yeast will come out. So uh, get yourself a cup, a beaker, um, any kind of container that you can dump the yeast in, something about 300ml in size, it's great. And, uh, and when you're doing it for the first time, don't push down on the lever all the way, um, it, does, it can come up quite fast. And the good thing about this is that you do have some control so you can open it quite nice and slowly. So just open it a little bit slowly now. It's going to come out of the paste there. You can see that's all the dead yeast coming out. Just dump that until clear beer starts coming out. There we go. Now if you have a, uh, a bowl or a, for instance a two litre ice cream container that you dump your yeast into that won't necessarily fit in the legs, um, something that works great is to go to the hardware store and get yourself a, a thick, a 19 millimeter uh, tube like this, cut it to about 15 centimeters or whichever length, and that just fits nice and easily over the, the valve. And again, the same thing you can dump into that, just pressing the lever slowly. Let's see, it's coming up. So it's clear beer there. So at the bottom of the valve, there's a little um, sample valve and you can use this to take samples for refractometer readings or uh, to transfer the beer into kegs or bottles. So to use this, it's called a little ball valve, so uh, what works really well is these little uh, plastic cups, you can just buy them at uh, the gro any grocery store. Um, so you just put that in there, so, there we go, and valve um, at 90 degrees like that is closed, so just open it and see the beer will start coming out for the sample. And just close it again. Now after doing a dump or taking a sample, uh, I recommend that you uh, keep the valve nice and clean, sterile, um, and don't let any bits harden or anything, so get yourself a bottle um, of sanitizer spray would be ideal. You can spray it into this valve so that nothing hardens in there. And for this one here, what's great is if you have the ball valve closed, what you can do is just simply unscrew this little sample outlet. And once you've unscrewed that, you can give it a clean or anything and just place it back on, just to keep everything nice and clean. 